Hey guys, and welcome back to the Ottoman uh, Piracy Challenge. This is part two. Um, we have just recently settled our second city of Edirne up here to the north. And, you know, honestly, this attempt is going pretty well. We're working on our first cargo ship. Um, and really, at this point, we're just exploring the world, recruiting more and more ships to our cause. Um, and eventually, I hope to, at least on this particular episode, start working on a military, or at least a naval military, that can um, eventually conquer Warsaw, which will be our first Arch Nemesis. And I've chosen them for a few different reasons, but the main reason is that they are simply in a very strategic spot for my empire, as I want to eventually settle a city over here with Mount Fuji. They're kind of in the middle of everything, so they will need to be taken care of. Um, and I guess the lingo of Godfather. So they will be taken care of here, uh, just not quite yet. Let's take a look at the map. Are we missing any of the ancient ruins? Of course, I'm keeping my eyes out for ancient ruins. And we just also bought a worker, which we will use pretty soon. As soon as it's safe to do so, it is safe to do so. Or at least, I guess, as safe as it's going to get. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's, it's relatively safe. So... Basically, we've got two triremes, one there, and one over here. And we'll, you know, hopefully in this episode, we'll get more access to more ships, perhaps more variety of ships, as we progress in technology. And... Where should I send this guy? Let's send him down here. Keep our workers busy. It's nice to have busy workers. And it looks like there is some type of civilization over here. Um, as I've said in previous videos, I'm colorblind, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm not always the best at detecting uh, which civilization is just by seeing the color. Or I guess the lack of color, in my case. Although being colorblind is not actually contrary to popular belief. It's not actually grayscale in my life. Or at least everything I see around me is not in gray. It's just that the colors that I see are different than perhaps the colors that you guys see. And it's harder for me to differentiate, especially with green and red. Um various colors. It is Indonesia. We've come into conflict or contact with Indonesia, who will no doubt be upset with us due to where we've settled our cities. It seems like no matter where you go and what you do, people will covet your lands. And everywhere I go, I seem to see Carthaginian Quen uh, Reims. I'm almost tempted to declare war on them just to steal their quaint Kareems, but I know that would be suicide with just one trireme, as they are a souped-up version of the trireme. Hmm. These archers kind of are encroaching on my worker. Not very nice of them. No embassy for you, Alexander. No embassy for you either. Before it's not possible, um, I'm definitely going to want to send my um, triremes in the other part of the map closer to my territory so they don't get caught behind, I guess, um, national borders that start emerging once these civilizations start spamming out cities. We can trade with Warsaw, which would be pretty awesome if it wasn't for the fact that any barbarian ship passing through could plunder the trade route. But you know what? We like to take risks. Uh, that 8 gold per turn is very, very nice at this point. Destroy that enemy archer. And what should we work on now? We've got four more turns until our wonder will be able to be constructed. So let's opt for the archer, which is a pretty safe bet on the grand scheme of things. I should say by the grand scheme of things. And perhaps we can go do some more um, searching, in this case on the other continent near Warsaw. Kind of see what's over there. In that particular territory. Oh, look at that. They opted to go f straight for the worker. I'm a little bit salty about that, but it's not the end of the world. Or it certainly shouldn't be the end of the world, I should say. We can easily take back that worker. And the worker wasn't really doing anything important anyways. Hmm... So I've blocked off access to the encampment by this barbarian, and pretty soon I will pillage the encampment, meaning he's got nowhere 
to go to. He's kind of locked where he is. So that's good for us. Bad for him. I will get my worker back. No worries, guys. Just sit tight. After I make the Colossus, or at least I try to go for the Colossus, I think I should make another Settler, as most of these guys have three cities. Hmm. I'm going to go take my worker back. And let's go ahead and research trapping so I can get that juicy ivory over there. And there are no more uh, barbarians on this particular island, which makes Solomon a very, very happy person. Of course, he's already magnificent, as you guys no doubt have already seen. It's his title. I mean, it's in his name. But he's now happy as well. Let's go ahead and send our archer. Hmm, where should we send our archer? Let's send our archer down here to this encampment and clear that out. So now that this island is safe for our worker, let's go ahead and continue this farm and explore a little bit more with this trireme. Of course, I don't want to get too close to the coast because there's an archer over there, so we're going to opt to stay back a little bit. And the Colossus can now be constructed by us. If we go with production, we save just two turns, so I opt for the balanced approach. And no vision on the Indonesian, what I presume to be the Indonesian capital. I can only hope that it's on the coastline. But you never know. I'm on the lookout for more barbarian naval units. It doesn't seem like we've come into contact with very many of them. Which makes me kind of sad. Let's go and take a look at all these quests that they've got. A lot of gold gift quests. And demanding tribute quests. Very interesting. But I want to fill out our social policy with tradition. And maybe even send my guys over here. Perhaps I should do that, actually. Let's go ahead and send our archer over there. Maybe we can find some ancient ruins to take. It's my hope, anyways. And I'm going to go ahead and send my triremes a little bit closer to these ancient ruins, because I know that they do have a chance of spitting out uh, naval units, which we, of course, are in desperate need of. There's a lot of ruins over here on the west. It would take a long time for me to get there, but assuming I could do it, I should probably go for it. Like I said, I just don't want to get locked in on a certain side of the map. That would be very, very unfortunate. Hmm. So my warrior has found nothing fruitful in this particular region of the map. We will send him back to Istanbul. And we will send this guy, once he's healed, um, to the northwest where Indonesia is. Kind of just do a little bit of scouting work. As we are doing with most of our units. Just scouting about. I don't mean to be trespassing, sorry. A lot of ruins. Look at all these ruins, guys. It's absolutely insane. Maybe if there's a way to get the, uh, there by the east, we can do it. I'm just surprised that Kamehameha hasn't done it personally. I mean, Kamehameha has access to the ocean tiles uh, right from the get-go. It seems it would make sense if he would just, you know, take advantage of that. But he doesn't, so go figure. Really hope we get this Colossus. It'll give us an extra trade route, more and more money. And I think it even gives us a trade ship as well, which is fantastic and really, really good. Sending our spearmen up here. And next turn, we will be able to work this ivory tile right there. What should we work on next? Let's open our technology tree. I want to work on, hmm, I'm going to say with philosophy. It'll be important for us to have access to compass and education later on for harbor, which is really going to be an important building to have in this particular sort of map. More so than really any other type of map. And I'll try to have at least one military unit, or one ground military unit in each city, uh, so that there's a little bit of a deterrent from the AI of attacking me. I'll go and look at the demographics. I think that my military is, yeah, it's pretty low. And our population is pretty low too, which is kind of weird considering that you know our capital is pretty big, all things considered. Maybe next turn it'll shoot up a little bit. We found Jerusalem and even more ruins. There's so many ruins over here. It just it blows my mind. I sometimes wish that these triremes could just, you know, get up off of the water and land their sailors on shore. Get access to these awesome, awesome benefits. 
of the ruins. So this this warrior is not really doing anything. We're gonna have him sent to uh, go east and hopefully come across some ruins. It's important in the early game for us to find as many ruins as possible to exploit, of course. Um, there's a river over here. It's telling me that it should. It thinks that me cutting it down and making it a farm would be better, so I'm gonna do that. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Really depends. We don't really see any naval barbarian units here, which is such a shame. I really want to get as many as I can before I declare war on Poland. Be very, very helpful. Of course, only having two naval units at this point is very, very low. Another Polish trireme, blah, 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 blah. We don't really care. You are going to be sent out over here to the east. Just, just go over there. Yeah, that's perfect. Assuming you can make that path, we will do it for you. And you as well. Oh, the Colossus has been nabbed. That's terrible. Well, we can't get all of the wonders that we're going for, so... You know, we tried. And that is that is the important thing. At the end of the day, we tried. We gave it the old college try. So instead, let's go for, I believe, a settler would be pretty good. And it'll give us access over here to Mount Fuji. Um, unless there's a better place for me to settle. But I think at this point, that'll be the place to settle. So I'm just kind of doing a little bit of rotation here, looking for any barbarian naval units. I can't see anything at this particular moment in time, but that's fine. Not a big deal. We'll send our uh, warrior over here to this island just because that's about to be where I'm sending my settler. Of course, I will protect my settler with... Oh, Shripada. Lovely wonder. Really, really good wonder. One of my favorites, actually. Fuck no, I'm not going to give you shit. I hate when the AI is like, hey, you know, we just want your money, but we're not going to really give you anything. It's really annoying. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's annoyed by this. And no sign of any barbarian naval units, but I'm not giving up yet. It appears that there is a Polish settler that's... Ooh, don't settle there, Poland. Please don't settle there. Oh, jeez. If they settle there, that'll be really, really bad for us. But I don't think they're going to listen to us. They don't really give a fuck. They do what they want. Which makes me sad. Really makes me sad. Really not looking forward to that, Poland. Right, so our naval unit over here, slowly making its way back to my base. But also kind of keeping on the lookout for barbarian naval units. You never know when you'll find one until it's too late. I don't want to destroy this encampment yet unless there's a city-state quest. There is a city-state quest, so we will take it next turn. I just saw that, or else I would have acted perhaps a bit sooner on it. Now, to kill this uh, barbarian encampment or not, I think probably not. Not really too much of a point in that at the moment. So instead, we will send this unit around these guys' territory. And in preparation for... Oh, would you look at that? Another settler. Or that's the same settler. I guess maybe he changed his mind on where he was settling. I really hope he doesn't settle on that on this area over here. If he does, that might block off my access eastward. At least for the time being. Even better, I hope he's captured by barbarians. That'd be funny and both tragic to him. So, ever sending my warrior eastwards while we prepare for capturing this barbarian encampment over here. And I might just send my, my worker as well over to the new island that I'm going to be settling. Just not quite yet, as we don't really know what to expect. Ah, oh, fantastic. Would you look at that? <laughs> Barbarian settler. That is what I like to see. That is just phenomenal news. We will be sending our our own settler over here. 
is also good news. We will, of course, be defending it however much we can. Yes, a barbarian trireme. Fantastic. Hopefully we can capture it. We will certainly try to. Um, in the interim, what do we need? We might need some more military to send over east. Or maybe even more workers. I mean, uh, you know what? Let's, let's just go with an archer. You can never go with wrong with an archer, really. Or should I go with a cargo ship? Eh, we'll go with a cargo ship next time. That's fine. If we can snag the oracle, that'd be nice. I'll, I'll try to do that. I mean, I, I really don't want to spend too much effort on snagging wonders. I mean, you guys saw what, what happened last time I did that. Oof. Um, do I go for the trireme kill? I don't know if this is a good idea. I might, I might lose my ship. Do I retreat? Maybe if I go back over here, it'll come and Zanzibar will bombard it. I don't really know. I don't really try to run from too many battles, but then again, I don't want to be um, missing or losing any of my units, especially the barbarians. Be really quite the tragedy. Sorry, Zanzibar. Apologies. So, right. The encampment that I need to take is up here. We will start working on that. But first, we'll position ourselves in a way that we can prevent Indonesia from sniping it from us. That would be most unfortunate if they did do that. The next time we come across that barbarian um, naval unit, we will be coming in force, which is perfect. That's what we need. Working on these farmland territories. All I got is farm. And really no ancient ruins over here to speak of. Just barbarians. Hmm. So we can make the oracle in two turns. Huh. I think I'll go ahead and work on a another cargo ship. Of course, I'll switch production as soon as um, is necessary in this situation. I should probably guard my settler a little bit more, lest what happened to the Polish happened to me as well. And now it's not too particularly surprising that they have a population uh, advantage over us. They've got three cities, all in the 678 range. It's pretty, pretty damn good. Not gonna lie. We are not doing too well, but we still got quite a bit of time to go. And Warsaw should be taken out of the game pretty soon. Very, very cool. And next turn we'll capture that settlement, which is even better. Should I make sure that everybody gets there safely? There's an exodus of individuals heading towards the new territory. Of course, the mausoleum Hall of Narcissus has just been made. That's fine. We don't mind too much about that. And there's an enemy trireme over here. Too bad my other trireme is quite far away at this point. Hmm. Want to land my unit over here. We're not going to let him pillage that. That would be disastrous. But this Barbarian Horseman might take control of my Spearman next turn. That would be very unfortunate. But shit happens. Choose our research. Let's go with Masonry. Kind of consulting in our Navy, Navy right now. On to the beaches of Normandy with you. And, ooh, we're taking a lot of hits from this horseman. What do I do? I don't want to lose my spearmen, but really, I mean, I'm kind of fucked. Huh. You know, let, let's just pray that getting healed up will, will help. I mean, it probably won't. I'm probably going to lose my spearmen next turn. But in the grand scheme of things, that's okay. It's an acceptable loss. So I don't worry too much about that. Alright, so... Circling this trireme around. Of course, I will be able to heal this trireme uh, eventually. Yeah, let's go ahead and work together. Fine. Fine, that's fine. Cool. Everybody seems to like Kamehameha. Which is good. 
Somehow my Spearman is still alive, which means that I think I made the right choice. I guess there's really no way of knowing until we see for ourselves. Hmm, absolutely surrounded by Carthaginian Queen Kareems. Let's see. Oh, we are very low on health. Can we kill it? We might be able to kill it. Shall we try? Let's try. Yeah, I killed it in front of Malaka, and now we're best buddies. Very, very cool. Nah, we're going to refuse that. No, nah, thanks, brah. And continue to bar or bombard that unit over there. Very, very nice. We're going to take the encampment in preparation for our settler, who will arrive hopefully pretty soon. And let's trade with our next city. Let's go with... Hmm, should I feed a Dern? Let's just feed a Dern for now. That's fine. And pretty soon we will be able to complete our cultural policy, which is very, very good news for us. And when you look at that, there is a Barbarian Galley over here. We're going to send all of our naval units in that direction. Hopefully we can capture it before the Polish bastards take it for themselves. Where is it heading? We don't really know. It's heading south. Right, so let's go with mm, constructions. Or sorry, mathematics is a good choice for now. And there's a farm there. I kind of want to keep this worker over here just because I know I'm going to need him later on. So we'll keep him here. Is there a farm there? There's a farm there. Very nice. I know he went south. He's right there. We're getting closer and closer to him, which is good. And we're sending this guy over here. We have like a monopoly on wonders, which is pretty cool. This doesn't usually happen with me. So I'm pretty happy to get what I can get. And did you already attack? You did. Very nice. We're not in such a terrible position here. That's not bad either. Wow. You, you really like my silver, don't you, Casimir? You know, we're probably just going to go with that offer. That's not bad at all. We're now up to quite a bit of gold. Our economy is pretty damn good. We got a thousand gold, as you guys can see. Not bad at all. Um, it's going to be important for us to boost our science. We're going to go with the library for the city. And for you, I think the best bet of action would be hmm, a minor farm. Let's go with a farm until we can find out if these um, particular tiles have any strategic resources. Of course, if they do, that's good. If they don't, that's not, you know, not the end of the world. We did not capture this particular naval unit, but no worries. There'll be plenty of others to uh, capture in the future. We will leave these barbarian encampments up just so that we have better chance of getting them. As I seek to establish more bases around the world. Yet another barbarian took the place of the barbarian that I sniped. Not great news, but not the end of the world once again. Right, so... Now that we really have nothing else to build, we are going to go for the Oracle. If we get it, fantastic. If not, we'll get plenty of gold, which is also good. Trade with Warsaw again. Also good. And we're going to make you good against cities. As I think that that's what will probably be the most useful later on. You can just scout around. That would be good. And you're just going to heal up in anticipation for the settler that's coming. Should be there like next turn. I want you to buy this tile. Mount Kailash is freaking awesome. Uh, let's, let's work that tile. Why not? Give us nine faith per turn. We can get a religion pretty soon with any luck. I don't want any part of Poland's religion. I don't swing with Catholicism here. And hopefully Islam has not been unlocked already. It would be nice if it wasn't. Get my own unique things. Okay, there's a Barbarian Galley over there. Very, very good news for us. I'm going to attack you. Hmm... As we inch ever closer to the eventual prize. How is my guy doing up here? He's doing okay. He's a little bit injured, but that's fine. Okay. Diplomacy in this game is a bit wonky. I would be lying if I said I really understood it fully. Take you and send you there. Next turn we will have a, another city up. With any luck. Which is good news. Very good news. 
Now where did that guy go? Oh, he's right there. Let's take, start attacking him. Hopefully he doesn't really fight back too hard. If he does, we are in for some dire times. As we will only have one other unit. Hmm. Send you over there. Don't hurt me too much, Mr. Barbarian Galley. Okay, decided not to attack me at all. Even better for us. And what's cool for us is that we are also settling again. Uh, the city of Ankara has been founded. Very, very cool. I believe he went north. Yeah, he's right there. Let's go ahead and attack him. Next turn I should be able to capture him with any luck. Look at all those warriors. This island is just a cesspit of warriors. And are we working about Fuji? Because, okay, well, we can't really afford to at this point. Let's go ahead and buy yet another worker. That's why I have all this money, so that I can do cool stuff, like buying stuff. Uh, I'll buy a water mill, too, for the next um, building. Water mills are fantastic. I don't really even need to tell you guys that. I mean, it's pretty much a given. And I might start feeding my capital pretty soon as well. Yet another barbarian has died. And yes, we have a galley. Really, really cool, actually. Galley it is. It's a very, very good unit. Hopefully I'll start be able to start taking cities soon. I don't want to really attack any of these cities until I'll be 100% ready, though. Considering the only military I have is naval. But we got yet another galley over here, so perhaps we'll go over there as soon as we heal up. I just need to make sure that we all heal up in time preparation for the next uh, naval convert. Naval convert kind of makes it sound like they're voluntarily converting. I, I prefer impressment. That's the true Ottoman way of doing things. Right, so let's go ahead and put them both up here. They can both heal freely. Oh, look, we can even promote them too. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'll promote you to Trireme? Hell no. Aren't these things, like, ranged? They're not ranged. Would you look at that? See, I always thought that galleys were ranged. I seem to be quite the fool. Let's promote them. Hmm. Do I stay here, or do I leave? I don't really know yet. We'll, we'll kind of play it by ear. Look at that. All these Mari warriors. They might think Ankara is a pretty sweet city. I don't know. Hopefully they don't decide to attack it. That'd be pretty unfortunate. Guess we have to be pretty much prepared for anything. Healing up these units. How do we stand on soldiers? We're not in dead last, which is nice. Moving up in the world. Where are these barbarian... Naval units. I'm really looking for them. I don't see them anywhere. It's a shame. Oh my god. Another, yet another wonder that's been snatched from us. And we've lost our archer. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Should I even go for the Hanging Gardens? It's going to be sniped. I think we all know that it's going to be sniped. But it's it's tempting. I, I, kind of, I kind of want to, you know? Like, it's out of principle now. I feel like... You miss all the shots you don't take, so, you know, let's go for it. You never know. Fight to see whatever wonder we can get at this point. And, right, so let's go ahead and see what you want. You don't want anything. You're allied with another power. I'm jelly of that. Wish you weren't. Nothing but Greeks over here. Can I get past you, though? Maybe. Nope. Alright, where was that barbarian ship that I saw a while ago? Are you still here? No, you're not. That makes me a sad panda as well. Pretty soon I'm going to switch my trade between Warsaw to my capital. Because Warsaw will be the next war goal. It'll just be a little bit hard to, you know, attack with just... Sh melee ships in Warsaw. I mean, I'm going to really need ranged units, I think. Unless I go for a different opponent. But really, Warsaw is the opponent that I want to take the most. Could benefit the most, I think, from their annexation. Hmm. 
If I go that way, I might be able to take this. No, just joking. Don't even think that's possible. So these ships are starting to be held up. Let's go ahead and send them up here. I don't think I've really explored much up there. And... Somebody's calling me, but we're in the middle of a Let's Play, so... We're not going to answer them. Sorry. Sorry, girlfriend. I'll call you back after the Let's Play. Oh. Let's see. The alarm is going off. And I can't even stop it because we're at the cell phone lock screen. Give me a second, guys. God, that's annoying. Okay, cool. So, um, in that case, we will have to wrap up this particular Let's Play pretty soon. But not quite yet. Refuse all of you guys. You guys offer me nothing that I don't already have. Of course, the Hangar has been built in the faraway land. I'm getting sniped on every single one of these wonders I try to attempt to make. I guess let's just go for, you know, like, Archer, I guess. <laughs> An archer is always good. With construction. That will render my archer useless in a few turns. Maybe I should just go with something else. Let's go with the spearman. So now we're going to send our... ships around the block. See if we can't find some... Barbies. As I call barbarians. That I encounter. It looks like we're almost going to encounter Carthage next turn, I believe. Very, very cool. And look at who's in the middle of all of my cities. None other but Poland itself. Poland will be a nice juicy target for our next annexation. At least, at least we're keeping things historical, you know? They didn't fare too well against the Ottoman Empire, if I remember my history lessons correctly. But I don't really care about a history. I'm mainly just looking for for encampments, you know, so that we can increase our, our naval, you know, empire here. This encampment over here doesn't really seem to turn on any naval units at all. Or else I'd go there. Hmm. More spices. That's always helpful. First, I want to set up some more farms. That's even more helpful. Next turn. This difficulty might have been a bit too tough for me. Just because it seems every all the other AIs are in pretty good position. I'm going to need quite a bit to even stand a chance here, it seems. This is where Poland is sending all its units to. And look at that! There's so many naval units! I need to I need to get past there. Perhaps Poland will become my temporary friend. As I can really offer them quite a bit of help with their Barbie problem. Poland, will you will you give me some open borders? Because that'd be freaking sweet, dude. Really? We need civil service for that? That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, that game, that is stupid. And I disagree with that. Really, really stupid. Here I was, thinking that Poland was just this one city, but apparently I'm incorrect. Ooh, and my trireme just got hit by a thingy. And I don't really have anywhere to go. I think I'm going to lose another Spearman. Really shitty. Really shitty times ahead for us. Maybe I can try to get away, but I don't think I really will be able to in this particular point in time. You can always try. Hmm, maybe I can kind of sneak around. I don't really want to be stuck on the wrong side of a border, but, you know, this this might be the thing that we got to do. You got to do what you got to do, as they say. I'll be sending a unit back down here. Perhaps there's more barbarians to take. And let's work on this time. Let's go with walls. Pretty stable choice. And I think we'll finally be able to work on... Completing our tradition tree and getting an aqueduct in all of our cities, which is really, really nice. I mean, that's a fantastic bonus that we can use. Still alive somehow. I don't really know how, but 
I'm going to die next turn with that warrior, or I should say spearman. I have no doubt in my mind that that'll mean death. No, I don't want to declare war on you. I just want to get all of your barbarians. Give them to me. Uh, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? Nope. Of course my unit was killed. Nobody was surprised that that happened. Certainly I wasn't. So, it doesn't seem like this arch can really do anything. We're going to take it back to the Motherland, a.k.a. this Barbarian Encampment. No. Man, these, these units are always in the worst positions, really. Always blocking me. And what do we have up here? Yes! Oh, no. Every time I kill a, a Barbarian unit, I'm always getting so excited, and then that happens. Really, this is really disappointing, honestly. All right, it looks like Alexander is cleaning up this place with his huge amount of triremes. Hmm. We're gonna get out of here. Yet another Carthaginian settler, and there are no more barbarian uh, ships over here. It was all for nothing, unfortunately. So on that note, guys, I hope you enjoyed this part of the Barbarian series. Or I should say, the Naval Challenge. Man, that's so ingrained in me, that Germany No City Challenge thing. I'll get past it, though. Don't worry. Yes, there's... Okay, hold on. We're not going to end the series yet. Hopefully we can get that galley before uh, Greece gets it, but I'm not really holding my breath. Greece generally tends to get what they want and every single rendition of this game that I've played in the past. Okay, so I've got a trireme there. I've got one up here. Where's my third one? Now I have three triremes. Where is the other one? Oh, he's over here. Okay, cool. No. 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 Okay, guys, thank you for watching. It seems that Greece... Oh, we took a gallery. Okay, anyways, yep. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next episode. It'll be out soon. Thank you very much, and y'all have a nice day.